I'm Johanna Nelson. And I'm Trey Ellis, and we are from the University of Missouri. This is the third in our four-part video series on using gypsum-resistant blocks to manage irrigation. In this segment, we will discuss reading and interpreting sensors. Gypsum blocks measure soil water tension, an indicator of the force that a plant must use to extract water from the soil. Each sensor has two stainless steel electrodes embedded in the block of gypsum. Wires from each electrode are used to measure the resistance in ohms between the electrodes. The resistance between the two electrodes varies with the water content in the gypsum block, which depends on the soil water tension. As the soil dries out, water is extracted from the gypsum block and the resistance between the electrodes increases. Conversely, as the soil wets, water is drawn back into the gypsum block and the resistance decreases. Today we will be measuring soil moisture using portable resistant meters. Resistant readings can be sensitive to temperature, but this, is usually, but this usually has little effect in field applications because the soil buffers against daily soil temperature variation. Commercial gypsum blocks have different calibration curves correlating resistance to soil tension. This is your water mark reader, and this is your Del Morris reader. We will be using a handheld digital watermark to read watermark gypsum blocks. Here he will connect an alligator clip from the meter to each green sensor wire. He will press read and record the reading. For the Del Horse gypsum blocks, we will use a Del Horse meter KSV1 version. Connect the sensor wires to the slots at the top of the meter. Again, press read and read the reading. Gypsum blocks measure soil water tension in the range from 30 to 1500 centibars. In soil drier than 50 centibars, Plants must work hard to extract water and are therefore stressed. In most fields situations, 50 centibars is the trigger to irrigate. For fertile irrigated rice, farmers pay water at 35 or 40 centibars. In the last video segment of this series, we will show you how to make an inexpensive data logger to record soil moisture measurements. 